Hey, it is me. Not exactly a blackout, but you can see it's me. And I've decided to do a reading for the sign of Libra. Libra. You know what's crazy is I've never done a reading for you guys and seen the constellation of Libra in my third eye. I'm channeling balloons right now. I've just seen like pink balloons. So um, this is Scorpio season or I don't know. I'm just seeing like pink rubber balloons but at the same time somebody could be getting pregnant with a little girl so maybe you know a scorpio but something about a celebration is significant okay um i am channeling archangel Raphael right now okay so can you guys could work with that particular angel and I'm just slowly shuffling. I'm going to be taking cards out of my um out of my channel message deck to start off with something significant about body pain, okay? Specifically in the lower part of the body, okay? I am channeling Capricorn and Pisces right now. And yeah, and Aquarius, okay? You could be dealing with those or have those signs someplace significant in your chart. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm splitting the deck. The first thing I'm seeing is whispers, okay? So there has been something that has been said, but that your spirits or your angels have witnessed these whispers okay this could be gossip you could feel as if there is some sort of whispering going on okay um i'm also channeling somebody who has left away from home either you live a distance from family members or you've decided to get up and move everything i'm also channeling a gray and black backpack the next one is he started it, okay? But we're gonna say he or she started it. For some of you guys, you could have moved out with someone. And by the way, this reading can be past, present, or future energy. Take what resonates. And I could be speaking about um, somebody who you are, just been on your mind, okay? And there's something on someone's conscious. I don't know. I'm picking up something about something being on someone's conscious. So if you moved out or away from someone, this is on someone's conscious, okay? But you could have moved because you were divinely guided to get away from a situation, especially with whispers coming out here. For some of you guys, you felt as if somebody was speaking to their friends about you, okay? Let's keep going, Libra. Let's see what else we got here. I'm trying to shuffle real, 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 real good. You know what's crazy is I pulled out three decks, but something just said that I should pull out my B deck. I don't know. Okay, loving Libra. So either you are this loving Libra or there's a loving Libra in your energy. Okay, so that's beautiful. Last one, new money. Okay, so... That could definitely be you. Either you're dealing with the lovely Libra or you are this lovely Libra, but there's something about new money. And I shuffled and shuffled and shuffled that deck up. Now, I'm going to start off here with my Latin Tarot deck because actually I was channeling this deck maybe about two hours ago. And when I was channeling this deck, I remember when I first got this deck, it was very difficult for me to really blend with the energy, okay? I, it was very confusing. Um, and then at one point when I would use this deck, sometimes I felt like it would yell things at me. Like, I don't know. It would, it would just seem like it was a deck that yelled things out very bluntly. I mean, you guys could be very blunt people, okay? Something's also significant about snails too, all right? I mean, you guys are something, um, 
You could be eating out quite a bit. Somebody you need to slow down on ordering Uber Eats or ordering off of Grubhub or whatever, or just ordering fast food or something like that. The first card out is the Knight of Cups in the upright. Okay, that fell on the ground, but I'm gonna pick it up just how it looked or how it was, which is the Three of Pentacles in the upright. The Ace of Cups in the upright. This is purely some sort of offer. This is definitely an offer. We got water energy out here. Um, Cancerian energy. But there's something about like somebody discussing the fact that they want to give you an offer, okay? This particular person could be speaking to family members or friends or something like that. For some of you guys, this is money and it could be a small amount of money with the Three of Pentacles being out here or this is a situation where somebody wants to apologize, okay? Um, but... Whoever this person is, you're going to know because they're very, very egotistical. They, they have a lot of pride about themselves. Like, it, 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 they got a lot of pride about themselves. Now, this is three cards. That's too many. Too many. Someone's name is David. That's the second time that name has come out in the collective energy. We've got the Ace of Pentacles in reverse with the four of wands in the reverse. Oh, I just mentioned something about somebody putting somebody out or somebody, for some of you guys, when I say put out, it doesn't necessarily have to be a home. Somebody could have put you out, like put you out there, left you out in the cold, didn't have your back about some shit, okay? In fact, right when I just said back, I just seen the word backwards, okay? But who, so something's going backward. The devil, a Capricorn, okay? Um, let's see. All right. Yeah, somebody's offering you some sort of apology. Also, know with this Ace of Cups being out here, this person really loves you. They're having some sort of realization on you being the perfect person. Okay, and this person's coming out as a Knight of Cups. Now, this person could be a whole ass adult, but they're in some childlike energy. And whoever this person is, they got some, some instability going on with their money and home situation. Something's going backwards. Like, I didn't see that word for nothing. And you guys know how I channel um, words. Something's going backwards or someone's money is going backwards up oh, that's the king of cups okay why is this king of cups out here this person is in the upright for some of you guys um whoever this person is you could share a child or children with them and it could be a water sign too pisces cancer scorpio or you're a pisces cancer scorpio cross watching okay um, and I did mention Pisces in the beginning of the reading, so heavy on the Pisces energy, but my King of Cups is Scorpio, okay? The card that fell is the Five of Swords in reverse. Uh-huh. My Five of Swords in reverse is someone, is like a, a disgraceful friend. So this could be a father figure, or this could be a woman who is in masculine energy, but I'm really picking up that you guys are uh, someone, two people want to apologize. And it could be two water signs, don't have to be. or uh, But there's something that somebody done did. And I had already felt that energy from the start. Somebody did something. Somebody going back, like someone's doing a review. Okay. The best way I can describe reviews is when it's like a video camera or a video rolling back. And you actually sitting there and you watching it inside of your own mind. You know what I'm saying? Someone could be daydreaming a lot or you could find yourself daydreaming quite a bit. Let's keep going. This is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Damn. 
whoever this particular person is, you're going to know because you could have been their motivator. Okay. Something about somebody, somebody is low on money. Someone's got some sorts of problems with instability and they possibly have lost their job. Okay. Like it's, it's not a good situation at all but whoever this person is they left you out in the cold they were talking trust me this particular person was talking mad shit about you and you're aware of it too you're aware of it what they said what they did for some of you guys um magician okay i'm gonna have to say with the magician coming out here real quick because right when it flipped out i had a message and that is for some of you guys, you could have been in this particular situation and now somebody else is in it. There's something about this that something is going backwards. Something is backfiring on to another person. If this has not happened, this is going to happen. OK, for some of you guys, this is happening in real time. There, child, my yes card, the sun. Virgo, Gemini, Leo, somebody could be on a Leo, Virgo cusp. Something could have taken place in that season, okay? You could also be receiving some sorts of communication that's going to make you very, very happy, okay? I'm also picking up that some of you guys need to get some sort of sun and somebody has some sort of scar on their leg. Their leg meaning like... um the calf and below. I don't know. I'm picking up stuff about hips and legs right now. Um, let's see. This is the nine of wands in reverse. There's something you can ready to find out about some sort of adversary. There's some sort of disaster going on. Like you're, you're getting ready to find out that somebody basically did something and it's all their own fault and that's how the fuck they got into it for some of you guys there's something significant about some sort of news coming in communication okay but i'm just picking up that a lot of you guys are manifesting like you're in this manifesting state okay um i've got the knight of wands in the upright hmm Somebody trying to fix something with you. Yeah, somebody want to fix something with you. Somebody want to make something right. And I just seen the word morning. Some of you guys are receiving some sort of phone call or someone could think about you quite a bit when they wake up. Okay. Something significant about the morning time. We got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, somebody, you getting ready to get a phone call or somebody's getting ready to communicate with you that um they are in some deep ass shit i'm talking about like whoever this person is even if they haven't they could still be living where they're at because for some of you guys what i just seen was an empty front room okay so someone could be either selling furniture or getting rid of things or having to really pull strings together in order to get themselves out of this okay you could have also had some sort of altercation with this particular person, an argument, but somebody's trying to mend things now. Page of Pentacles. Hmm. All right. What's this Page of Pentacles out here? Somebody's name starts with a B. Bia. Um... This is the nine of pentacles in reverse with the nine of cups in reverse. Who is this? Let's, who is this page of pentacles before I say this? Who is this page of pentacles? With the five of cups to the moon card. Okay. Somebody made some sorts of plans and they lost all their money. Somebody could be a gambler or somebody uh, risked it all on like someone did something stupid. Someone could have also depended on the word of another person. Okay. I'm also picking up on some really lazy energy. 
all right? And for some of you guys, there's something about your plan, something that you planned on doing that did not work out and somebody liked the fact that you were disappointed, okay? Now, this came out in the Divine Feminine reading, all right? There's something about even when you were younger, you could have been in a younger state or maybe whatever plan you had, you you didn't have it all together in some sort of shape, form or fashion. But somebody sat around and liked the fact that you lost your money with the nine of cups out here. Somebody sat around. They could have giggled. They could have laughed about this shit. You know what I'm saying? And now somebody wants to fix this. OK, I'm picking up something about drawers. OK, um, a dresser drawer. Some of you guys could be buying furniture. I got a queen of pentacles. It could be a Capricorn, a Pisces or a uh, Cancerian energy that wants to apologize about something. But whoever this particular person is, I'm talking about even if because we got work, we got stability, which is home and then money. Somebody's suffering very, very hard in this energy, Libra or cross watcher. Also, whatever they exposed about you, they feel very, very bad about this shit with the five of cups to the boom car and then the uh, queen of pentacles. Somebody just has said something about you. For some of you guys, it got something to do with something you do for work that you're being successful in coming out here as the queen of pentacles energy. Someone told something. Someone said something to somebody about something you do for work, honey. Knight, I mean, excuse me, the King of Swords. Mm, let me see something, y'all. Somebody just bust out laughing. I don't know. That's an omen. We got the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so a lot of you guys, something is blocking you from losing your job, your position, your amount of money. Somebody is standing in your favor for you. For a lot of you guys, this could definitely be like an angel, even in human form, okay? But there's something about your job being protected. Like if you was ever in a situation where you were in the five of pentacles, you will no longer be in that energy again. You're not, it's, it, your job is protected, your business is protected, okay? But somebody leaks some sorts of secrets when it comes to how they feel about your job, what you do for a living, Okay, we've got the, I told you, with the death card in reverse. Mm -mm. Your job is secure. Your money is secure. Your position is secure. Okay? Now, who's sitting here watching you? This page of uh, swords. Could be an air sign. There's something that you, okay, if you, like, I don't know, if you, whatever it is that you said that you would like to do or that you would not mind investing your money into or something like that, somebody is spying on the fact that you're getting some sort of wish fulfillment. Yeah, there's something about, like, a wish fulfillment that you had, okay? Um... You've been through a lot because my four of pentacles in reverse is like lots of obstacles and stuff. There's something significant about material wealth that maybe it's taking you a long time to obtain. You could feel as if like you're in some, you're being cursed. Like some of you guys could feel as if somebody is tampering with or trying to stop or block your money. Okay. I want to give you a confirmation that that is not true. There's some things that's just taking a little bit longer for you to obtain, okay? Remember, I said new money out here, and I said loving Libra, okay? And then we got this person started this, okay? Somebody started something, okay? You're not the blame for something. I'm channeling North Carolina and Georgia right now. I'm also channeling Philly. Scorpio energy, Gemini energy is out here as well. What else do we have going on for the sign of Libra? The three of wands in the upright. Libra. 
Libra. With the high priestess in reverse. There's something about your foresight when it comes to some sort of wickedness. A lot of you guys are extremely gifted. Maybe you don't realize it. Maybe you're not claiming your gifts. I've um, I've mentioned to you before, this has came up in your reading before. Be sure to drop me, I am gifted in the comments because you wanna make sure you continue to affirm this or I recognize my gifts, okay? Because there's something about your foresight and being able to track or know something about somebody that's very wicked. I'm also picking up the fact that you know how someone reacts. Whoever's coming to you and trying to give you an, an apology, this person has a history of blowing up like hell. Somebody's name is Keith. We got the page of wands in reverse. Okay, so you predicted something. You predicted that there was gonna be something that somebody wicked did and that it was going to backfire, it was gonna come back on them and that it was going to fail. You predicted something. Now this person don't wanna tell you that you predicted something, but you predicted something. Pisces energy, will of fortune at the bottom of the deck. So you warned somebody about something. Mm -hmm. You warned somebody. And if this has not happened, then this will. Think back to who you warned some, somebody about. Because that's what this got to do with right here. Something significant about shoelaces. We got the seven of swords and the upright with the seven of pentacles in reverse. Wow. Somebody tried, somebody even schemed up or did something. Somebody could have tried to fight you for some sort of money. This could be a court case. This could be a, a situation going back and forth with another individual. Somebody not wanting you to shine. It's like somebody did something and they invested their money in doing it with you too. Or there's got something to do with you losing out on some money or something like that. Things are being balanced with the two of pentacles. Yeah, this got something to do with your money. Okay. Someone's name is Brene. We got the uh, eight of swords. Yep. Oh, yeah. Somebody could be uh, going to jail because of something that they did fraudulent with money. Okay, that's happening in real time. And if it's not going to jail, somebody getting ready to have to pay some fines or some fees or something because um, they call themselves trying to protect their own ass rather than protect you. So it's like whoever this person is, is a real fucking wimp because they put themselves before, like they put the money before they put their friendship or love or whatever value they placed upon you. They made sure that they counted money in before they counted you in. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. You could be seeing the number 77. Okay. And if this is not jail, then somebody's about to be restricted. Child, how am I gonna make it up? The chariot is in reverse. It could be a Cancerian, or there's a Cancerian cross watching for the sign of Libra. Oh, yeah, somebody's about to be very disappointed. Somebody also is in some sort of position where no matter what corner they turn, they keep getting rejected. No matter what they do, how hard they try, they're, they keep running into some sort of rejection. Page of Cups. This person could be younger in age. You could be older than them or they are older than you. And that's how come this Page of Cups coming out here. Somebody want to apologize because of judgment. Judgment is being called upon this person. The emperor, this could definitely be your energy, Aries energy, a leader. Someone has to apologize to somebody who's in a leadership position. Somebody could be wanting to apologize. Remember, this person is very egotistical. Another thing is I'm seeing the word hate. This person could be a fucking hater. Okay. For some of you guys, somebody wanted to apologize to you on your birthday or they want to apologize to you about some sort of celebration or a group of people that they've been associated with. Will of Fortune in reverse. 
Hmm. Let's get one more card. With the three of swords in reverse. Hmm. Somebody caused some sort of separation too. There's something about somebody is at fault for causing a separation. For some of you guys, this is someone close to you. This is a family member, a cousin, or a friend. If it's a family member, it's kind of like sibling, cousin. If it's a friend, it's a friend. But someone caused some sorts of uh, separation from something that they said or something that they did against you. They know that they did this shit too. On top of the fact that they know that they did some shit to fuck with your money. Okay. Hmm. I don't know why I'm, I'm being led to say what I'm about to say, but for some of you guys, you don't know who this person is. You got a secret op. You got a secret op. Split the deck, Capricorn, and then the Six of Swords. Okay. It could be a Capricorn cross watching for Libra or Libra. You are definitely dealing with a Capricorn, okay? Somebody could have um, also falsely accused or incriminated somebody or said somebody did something. It's kind of like it's against the law. It's against the law to falsely accuse somebody of something, okay? I don't know why I'm picking up on that, okay? That somebody has said somebody has done something illegal, okay? But you're coming out as emperor energy, but somebody wants to apologize for something that they did. There go the three of cups right there. It could be three people. But see, Libra, you got some money coming. So, mm. of course, it'd be perfect timing for somebody to apologize. Okay, so you got up to three people watching you. You got a crowd of people watching you. Mm-hmm. These people gossip about you, Libra. But whatever they tried to do towards you, it failed. Like, somebody tried to create. Somebody came up with some sort of creation to come up with, come up against you. Somebody's sloppy. Justice in reverse, I cannot make it up. Okay, this could be another Libra that did this to you. A low vibrational Libra. I, child, with the five of pentacles again. What's after this five of pentacles? Ten of swords, the hermit in reverse, the two uh, oh, okay. You know what? Somebody in a group of people, it's a group of people and some folks done turned on each other. Mm-hmm. That's what's making somebody feel some type of way about getting into get back into your good graces. Some people done turned on each other. It could be, if you are not that emperor, then it's somebody who's in an emperor position. This person could be a father, a business owner, a community leader. Okay, maybe the both of you are in both of y'all are an emperor energy. Okay, both of you are business owners. You do things for one another. You used to do things for one another. But yeah, somebody betrayed an emperor energy and they did it very quickly. And now somebody is wanting to depart from a group of people because they realize that they've been betrayed. Somebody feels hopeless and lonely. In fact, whoever this person is, even if they even if they have their job and they still have their home, this person feels very much out in the cold. They feel alone. Loneliness. And they lack guidance. The hermit was in reverse. They don't feel like they can make the best decisions. Whatever happened, it was very hurtful. It was very, it got somebody really in their emotions. There goes my yes card again. Leo energy. Something is significant about um, the months of August and September and October. Something just recently I cannot make. Look, I said somebody is in their feelings. It's the three of cups to the three of swords. There is a group of people and some people done fail the fuck out. And it could be a Libra or a Leo or those signs are cross watching. Okay, I'm going to pick it up just the way it fell. Mm. Mm. Ah, magician. Gemini Virgo at the bottom of the deck. 
we got the Queen of Wands in reverse. Something's also going to surprise you. Like whatever this is, and for some, I'm going to say this again too. There's getting ready to be a public quarrel. Somebody's getting ready to come out and say something, okay? For some of you guys, you're going to, it's going to put pieces of a puzzle together. There's something about a piece of public puzzle that's going to be put together. Now, for some of you guys, this resonates, okay? But I'm also channeling right now that there's going to be some sort of information that it's going to be pure karma and it's going to come out. And it's going to be some sorts of lies that somebody done told, okay? My, um, heavy on the Leo. Uh, queen of, my queen of wands is Leo, but it can be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. But there's something. It's kind of like you suspecting that somebody was on the job stealing. And then all of a sudden some shit come out. And you like, I knew that that's exactly what it was. Or you suspecting this person stole your purse. It's one of them kind of things like that. And since I mentioned purse and stealing, something about some money is in this dang on reading, okay? And something about somebody's job. Whether you're an entrepreneur or you work a nine to five, eight to eight, whatever. We got the, I can't, the moon card in reverse. There's some sort of lies that's about to be revealed. Okay, and I'm gonna say something too. Whoever these three are, they thick as thieves. It's a group of people, and this spread may not even have nothing to do with the other spread. Okay, Queen of Cups. Some of you guys are gonna be vindicated. There's something that's not that people are gonna honestly say, "Oh, okay, yep, yeah, that's." Somebody was trying to stop you from moving forward. Yeah. But some of you guys, there's something about transportation. Okay. There's something about a car. All right. Transportation, a car. Uh, uh, King of Pentacles in reverse. I was about to say some of you guys um, got a shady mechanic or y'all got somebody doing something with a car. Maybe you got a lemon or something. I don't know. Maybe this is about a lawsuit or something like that. The justice did come out and it came out in reverse. Child, that Leo energy just won't stop. Cancerian Leo energy out here. I'm seeing the interior of a car being... um. I see a, a tan dashboard. I see something long and black hanging from the um mirror, the review mirror in a car as well. Somebody old school. Somebody be spraying that old school money spray with the Indian on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, with the six of cups in reverse. For some of you guys, this has been an ongoing thing, something that you've been suspecting for a long, long time, okay? Somebody could have definitely abuse their power when it came to you, but the whole purpose of it was to stop you from moving forward, okay? Knight of Swords in the upright, okay? With the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so a lot of you guys are very hardworking. You you get your job done. You have no problems getting it done. You're very skilled. You're coming out as somebody that's also very alluring. Okay, that's just a side note. There's something about you that kind of stands out. When people look at you, you can find that people stare at you. For some reason, I'm picking up a grocery store. Some of you guys could get stared at in public at a grocery store or something like that. Um... But like, I'm just picking up that you're really quick on your feet when it comes to your work or doing a really good job. But yet there's something that's been moving slow in your finances. Something about the word pro. A lot of you guys are just that skilled. Like you're a pro at whatever you do. The horror font. Yeah, your job. There's something about somebody's job out here. What about this higher font? 
I'm picking up another channel message. Okay. With the nine of cups in reverse. Somebody's a, a hater. Yeah, there's somebody's a fucking hater when it comes to your work. Okay. Um, I got Taurus energy out here. It could be a Taurus dealing with a Libra, or you're dealing with a hating ass Taurus. Like, there's something that you do and you're extremely alluring. You could look at that. Why am I picking up a woman that does a man's job? So some of you guys could do something and there's someone who's sexist against you, okay? Or you could be a male and you got you in some sort of industry where there's lots of women around you and you do your job really good. Like, I'm picking up something about you. I've never even used the word alluring before. So I'm, I'm channeling right now. And that's the word I just seen in my third eye as I was looking down at the cards. So... Like, there's something about a skill that you do, that you're a pro at. And this old hater nine of cups right here in reverse. Like, somebody can't stand it. Somebody don't want you to get something that belongs to you. What did I just say to you? Somebody does not want you to get something that belongs to you with the five of uh, wands here. Someone's competing with you constantly. I'm also picking up something about an oil change. Somebody getting their car. You need to get an oil change or I don't know. Maybe you work at one of those places or I don't know. We got the seven of cups in reverse. <sighs> Somebody happened to look back over something. Somebody happened to look back at the child with the star card. For some of you guys, okay, somebody is having to make a choice and accept the fact that you're in this star energy, okay? Because I'm trying to tell you, when I say alluring and I think of star, maybe some of you guys are glowing. I need to get something to drink. Hold on, y'all. Something significant about scents or perfume. Smells. I don't know if somebody you work in a department store, retail. Um, somebody could be walking around with a stank face too when it comes to you. Every time they see you, got they got a stinking ass look on their face, okay? But for some of you guys, you actually, something significant about fragrances, okay? You could love fragrances or something like that. Drop me those uh, gifts. Let me know you're spiritually gifted because there's something that you done said that you predicted correctly, okay? Towards some sort of wicked energy. And now they're sitting there and they're pissed off at you, okay? And it's got something to do with money. Somebody's attacking your money, Libra or cross watcher, okay? And it's like whoever this person is, every single thing you do, They'd be like, oh, they're doing it wrong or they should have done it like this or excuse me. Every time you do something, I'm just picking up on this lemon face ass person that they got a comment to say after you say something. OK, but if they stay out of this page of swords energy, they will be just fine. They probably a part of this group right here that's tumbling down folks turning on each other in this group. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Look at that. Uh-huh. Queen of uh, Wands with the Six of Pentacles. Hmm. You defeated something. With the Queen of Swords out here in the Tower Reverse at the bottom of the deck, you could have defeated something and did not know that you defeated it. Like, like... Some of you guys are into prayer. A lot of you guys are actually doing the work. You know, you're using your spiritual gifts for the better good with the tower in reverse. Like you prevented something from happening and didn't know it. Now, some of you guys, I got a lot of different people that listen to me. You could have did something. 
You did something, return the sender. I do not know, but there is a Queen of Wands in reverse with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody feels like something is unfair. And if they don't feel this way, they're going to feel this way. They're going to feel like they're getting less of something because of you. We got the Ace of Cups in reverse to the Knight of Pentacles, okay? Hmm, yeah. Someone could feel as if you're receiving too much favor, too much fame, too much notori no notoriety, no notoriety. And then with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, like, I'm trying to tell you, somebody really feels like you are the reason why their money is slowing down, okay? How am I going to make it up? Not only that, and see, Ten of Wands. It's like somebody also feels as if, like, it's your reason why their money and the respect of other people, the people who follow them, they feel like it's your fault in some sort of shape, form, or fashion that this shit is happening to them. For some of you guys, when I say something is backwards, okay, for some of you guys, this person seen this and then turned around and began to attack you. For others of you, you are just being yourself. For all of you, you're doing the work. You're actually being honest with what you do. You don't even five of swords um, or five of swords or five of wands, motherfuckers. You really sit on the seat of your throne in a genuine manner. I said you sit on the seat of your throne in a genuine manner. Queen of Pentacles. Some of you guys, it's something about your reputation. It's something about your reputation that's got somebody just, ugh. Six of Pentacles in reverse coming out here. With the two of Pentacles in reverse. I know exactly what this is. With the two of wands, you could be seeing the number 22. Okay. Um, somebody could be born the 22nd of the month. Someone can also be born February 2nd, Aquarius energy. I got Libra energy as well. Okay. Someone really has decided that you're causing some sorts of imbalances. Your existence, the way you do things. Why am I picking up on like somebody and this could be anybody you guys this could be your mama your daddy your cousin your brother uh uh yeah i'm seeing a little black boy right now and this little black boy um he has like lighter colored hair naturally like sandy colored hair. I don't know if that's a photo of somebody that's in your family, but whoever this person is, is just such a little nagger. Now I'm seeing a white lady that's skinny, about five foot three. She wears glasses um, and she's wearing jeans. There's something significant about a woman who is masculine or a woman doing a men's like job or a woman that's carrying this very masculine energy. Okay, I got the eight of swords and this is going to be my last card. Yeah, somebody feels like you're taking their money from them. You're taking their job from them. And it's like got this person all in their head, like they're mentally like, I don't know, their their mind is like a damn typewriter. Like, I don't know. Like somebody really feels like you're taking something from them. You got new money coming, Libra. You got new money coming. All right. I split the deck on three of swords and reverse to the hermit. Hmm.
A lot of you guys, this is healing energy. A lot of you guys have, are you, you kind of like, you chill to yourself. Okay, I could be speaking to a Virgo cross-watching for the sign of Libra, or there's a Virgo Libra and cusp. But there's something that you keep to yourself. Like you, this could also be a, a symbolic of being very lighthearted. Okay, so I mean, you guys don't even be all loud. Like you're very quiet. You could be kind of, you know, in your introverted type of energy. You mind your own business. Something about the dentist is significant. Somebody needs to go see a dentist. Okay. Um, or somebody you work in a dental office. Split the deck again. I got the higher font and the high priestess. Wow. This gets off Christ consciousness, okay? A lot of you guys are going back to church or there's something about church. Like you have a very um, pure type of consciousness. And with the three of swords and the um, hermit coming out, you guys are very lighthearted, like very sweet, very loving. That could probably piss somebody off. They go that four of wands in reverse again. With the queen of cups. Libra. Okay, I'm going to take both of them. The king of cups and then the eight of wands. Child, if you are unhappy right now, if you went through any sorts of circumstances... Child, you got somebody coming in. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Y'all, my right ear started ringing so loud just now. Right when I said, if you are alone, if you are single, if you're unhappy, my right ear just, I'm talking about y'all, it rang in a different way that it ain't never rang before in this life. Child, somebody, you getting ready to get some communication soon. Somebody coming in real fast towards you. This is happening in real time. It is manifesting in the spirit. And it is, if I, I can't even say this quick enough. It's in the spirit and it's about to manifest in the physical. You about to meet somebody real soon. That's a future prediction for somebody. And then look, that's the fastest night in the day. This particular person is very intelligent. They're very helpful. And this person is successful too. Especially if you are in some sort of situation where you're unstable. You don't have a home with the four of wands being in reverse. You could be a mother figure. This person could be a father figure. You got kids. They got kids. And if this ain't resonating with you because you want to be single, then child, it's resonating with somebody around you. Your cousin. The strength card in reverse. That's something you're not going to be able to resist. Ooh. With a 10 of cups. If you're not happy, somebody getting ready to make you happy. And whoever I'm speaking to, this strength card in reverse is representation of you not even, you, you, you sitting up saying, I'm not even in the mood for this. That's what, yeah. Who is this at the bottom of the deck? I'm not sure. Wait a minute. Hold on. There's some sort of disrespect that somebody's um, giving you in the past. And there is like this angelic spirit that is blocking off some sort of disrespect. Yeah, there's some sort of disrespect that somebody's trying to send your way or 
get people to stop following you or get people to, to something someone's trying to do is being blocked in real time. I don't know what that is. Even if it's not a coworker, it's just some hating ass person. We got the judgment in reverse. Why is this judgment in reverse out here? I ain't never went this long with y'all before. We got the seven of cups. With the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so in this in reverse. Something about somebody's family is out here. You got some family members. And if it ain't family, it's a group of people. All right? These particular people are delirious. They're crazy. They're very scatterbrained. Their emotions is everywhere. They're calling judgment. They're, they're being very um nasty and mean. They talking crazy shit. I already said there was a group of at least three people with that Three of Cups coming out here world card there could be something that you're doing online or um why am i picking up somebody displaying their art or you could be very artistic and creative in your endeavors and you got some you got definitely got a group of people that's hey in six of swords to the justice to the nine of wands in the world card there's something working out in your favor in fact Whoever you left, especially if it's a group of people, you got justice on your side. Another thing is, is just keep in mind that spirits jump bodies. So don't come into, don't be like in a fairy tale land where you say, oh, once I get money, everything will make it okay. Once I get married and once I get somebody, because no matter what, because of your energy, you're always going to attract haters. Somebody thinks it's your fault for everything. And right now in real time, somebody is blaming you for their money situation. Last three cards. Three of Pentacles. That's that group of that's that group of people talking. With the Ace of Wands. And then the Knight of Cups. You gotta be kidding me. You got a gossiping group of people who want to get in your face now. And have a discussion with you about making things better. And whoever these people are, somebody is feeling bad, busted, and disgusted. And they're wanting to apologize about something. But whoever this group of people are, they done sat around and talked about you, cooked you, marinated you, in all different, dissected you in all different kinds of types of ways. And now they want some sort of new beginning with you. Thanks, Libra. Talk to you guys later.